To start out, we are going to be using a base coat. I'm using Neutrinea Bulletproof Strength Formula Base Coat. The base coat is applied to protect the nail and to make it stronger and grow longer. For our first base color, we are going to be using a white. I am using Pure Ice White and Superstar. I'm going to apply this to my thumb, pinky, and middle finger. Be sure to cover the whole nail. Use two coats if needed. For the base color of the pig, I'm going to be using a hot pink. I'm using LA Colors Nail Liqueur Hardener in bright pink. Apply the pink to the whole nail. Use two coats of your hot pink if needed. For the cheetah print, I'm going to be using a light pink. I'm using NYC's Long Wearing Nail Enamel in Polyester Pink Cream. Apply the pink to the whole nail. Use two coats if necessary. Any light pink will work. To create the water for the fish on your thumb, use a light blue. I'm using Wet n Wild Wild Shine Bijou Blue. Be sure to cover at least most of the nail. You can leave the edges a little white if you want. To do the zebra stripes on your pinky, use a black. I'm using Kiss Nail Art Paint in black. For me, I think it's a lot easier using a thin brush like mine here. All you have to do is go back and forth on the pinky. No zebra stripes are perfect. So just create the best that you can. To create the sand on the ears of the pig, use a light pink. I'm using the same light pink I did for this finger, my ring finger. I'm using NYC's Long Wearing Nail Enamel Polyester Pink Cream. To do this, make a half circle at the front of your nail. Either use a dotting tool or just use the brush like I'm doing here. And then to create the ears, just use a just use the brush and create little ovals at the top of your finger. Like so. To make the eyes of the pig, we're going to be using a white. I'm using Kiss Nail Art Paint in white. To make the eyes of the pig, you just need to make two little white circles right below the ears. You can make them either as big or small as you want. Next we're going to be using this black. We are going to be using this black a lot. We're going to use it for the nostrils and pupils of the pig, the peak of the penguin, and the brackets for the leopard print. I'm using Kiss Nail Art Paint in black. First I'm going to start off with the brackets for the leopard print. All you have to do is make as many brackets as you want and then any excess space you have just cover it with black polka dots. I'll show you at the end. To make the peak of the penguin just make a small black triangle 
at the top of your nail. Don't forget to fill it in. Now I'm going to use the black to make the nostrils and the pupils on the pig. To do this, you need to just create small little black ovals on the nostril of the pig. And two little black dots for the pupils. We are actually going to use that black one more time to create the eyeballs of the penguin. To do this, all you have to do is make two black circles right under the peak. Again, make them as big or as small as you want. Next, I'm going to create the beak of the penguin. I'm going to be doing this by using a light orange. I'm using e.l.f. nail polish Mango Madness. To create the beak of the penguin, make a small triangle at the tip of your nail. Try and make a point at the end if you can. If you can't, th that's alright too. To finish off the penguin, we are going to be using a white for the pupils. I'm using Kiss Nail Art Paint in white to create the pupils. To do this, just create two small white dots inside the eyes. And next, to finish off the cheetah print, we are going to be applying sparkles inside the brackets. I'm using Kiss Nail Art Paint in Silver Sparkle to create the sparkles. To do this, just take your sparkles and place it anywhere inside each bracket. To create the fish for the thumb, use a light yellow. I'm using Kiss Brush On Nail Art Paint in Neon Yellow. To create the head of the fish, I'm going to be using a dotting tool. Well, I, well, since I don't have a dotting tool, I'm using a bobby pin. To create the head, you just take your tool and make a small circle and then just keep making the circle bigger as big as you want the fish head. Now to create the tail of the fish, I'm going to make a triangle off of the circle. Your fish can be any size or shape that you want it. Now to create the bubbles for our fish, we are going to be using Kiss Nail Art Paint in white. Any white will work. To do this, I'm going to be using a dotting tool, otherwise known as my bobby pin. I'm dipping it in the paint. And just make as big or little dots as you want. Remember, big dots always go to the top and then they get smaller as you get to the fish. To do this, just make a small little dot for the eye and a smile for the fish. And the last thing we're going to do is add a top coat. We are going to finish off our nails with a top coat. I'm using Nutri Nail High Gloss Top Coat. The top coat will give it a shine and protection. Apply it to all the nails for a shine and protection. I hope you guys enjoyed making these as much fun as I did. They turned out really cute. Enjoy!